I think it's um, we kind of have kind of one extreme to the other, which is sometimes we'll write everything as a band, and then add in the lyrics and stuff afterwards. Um, and then other times we'll just have a complete song that I'll bring in and we'll work from there. So I think we got quite a good balance. We kind of you can tell which songs, um, like even the songs that I write and bring in, everyone still has their own print on it. But kind of with the other ones, you can tell there's kind of some different styles in there. Our influences are all sort of different. Um, I come from more of like a sort of like hardcore background, like metal stuff. Um, Lawrence is the same, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah mine's pretty similar. Though. But I still love a bit of pop punk, so that's why I enjoy being in this band and stuff. I've kind of ruined everyone because they all like quite heavy music. And then I came along listening to Take That and Coldplay and was just like, come on. Let's pop this up. Um, I think it's quite a good middle ground as well as the music that we play because it's kind of like we've got heavier bits and then we've got poppier bits and then we've got punky bits and yeah. stuff. So we've kind of, I think part of the good thing about all of us having different backgrounds is that we've all kind of put something together that's... We've got aspects of everything in our music yeah. from like all our genres that we're based around. I think that helps us to appeal to people as well. Yeah. There, there have been points where it gets to like, you know, where do we go from here, you know? try to do this and that idea and sometimes we you know yeah like disagree on like you know what works best and here and there but i mean um we do get there eventually but um yeah it, it doesn't come without its challenges and that sort of thing i find for myself i like i tend to sort of rush things a bit like i want to if i've got an idea <laughs> i really want to get it like down and, and out yeah. there like with the guys but then but it's just like i need to like slow down sometimes i think that yeah. might be something that because lewis joined a bit later um i think we've kind of the three of us have learned that putting stuff out there as soon as you have it as much as you want to it's not always no. really a good idea no. so i think um yeah lewis is always really it's great. He's got a great energy. He brings something in. He's like, right, let's write this now and release it tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, um, I think I think for me definitely, um, Chiselhurst Festival because it was the first festival we ever played, and it was definitely one of the best. Me personally, weirdest experiences of my life because the fact that it was so hot that day. And yeah. We were so dehydrated, and um, I admit, you know, <laughs> went a bit overboard with the uh, free complimentary um, food and booze that they made to, to, to all the um, artists, and uh, yeah, that didn't help towards dehydration, and I couldn't, my vision was so blurry and couldn't see more than 10 yards, but um, it was great seeing that many people, like, even if they were just sitting there just chilling out in the sun and stuff, like, mm. and not actually watching us, just having them there, just having such a big audience, it was very fulfilling, and uh, especially at the end, when... Um, after our set, we got off stage. Um, we, me and you, came across this uh, father that came across with, came to us with this little kid, and oh, um, I know. And uh, he said to us, you know, yeah, you guys were great and all that. And then um, he came with us as a kid, and um, yeah, said it, like, apparently we were his first ever live band that his kid saw, and um, yeah, that that was definitely one of the most humbling experiences ever. That's pretty cool. It's quite cool to know that even though you're like a tiny little band, you can still kind of have a milestone yeah. like that for someone's life, like that's pretty cool. Definitely.